All right, let's look at the gold trade. Every Thursday at 8.30 in the morning, we have unemployment claims. Every Thursday, we have unemployment claims. Okay? It's directly going to affect gold. So, what we want to do then is we want to wait 15 to 20 seconds after the news release, and we're going to try to buy off of value. If we look at gold, we have three important lines on any market you trade. It doesn't matter what market you trade. It doesn't matter if you trade the S&P 500 futures, if you trade stocks, if you trade currency, if you trade gold, crude, whatever it is. There's three important lines that you must be aware of to be successful trading my methodology. There's two profiles on this black chart you have to be aware of. There's price profile that's been around since 1985, and there's more volume-based profile that's been around since 1994. The volume profile are these big solid green, solid blue, solid red lines. That's going to be your most important levels to trade off of on any given market over price because price is more static. Volume is calculating all the volume coming in the market. All the hedge fund money, all the banks, all the amateur professional traders. And what it does is spits out this blue line. I've got a specific time it starts watching for the most volume traded. Spits out this blue line right here. This blue line creates natural support and resistance all by itself. That's the most volume that's traded when I start profiling the market on the algorithm. Then what it does, it will calculate this red line and this green line automatically based upon this blue line where the volume has been traded. So those three lines are the most important lines you're going to trade off of every single day on any given market. Solid blue, solid green, solid red. If I could just trade off any lines in the room, I could take everything off the chart and just trade off market delta and these solid lines and do very, very well without anything else because they will dictate where order flow is. So what happened today with gold, our trend filter said we were in an uptrend. Look at the angle of the magenta MA. We don't use moving averages for support resistance. Use them for trend filter. We're in an uptrend. So the market bounced off the low value area down here. The green's called low value. Came up to high value. It straddled it now three times, four times. It has not closed outside of high value. That's obviously resistance. But what happened after news is this. The control point was right here, the blue line at the time. The control point was right there at the time. News came out, and these lines will move. Solid red, solid blue, solid green. This control point's going to move. So what happened is the control point moved. It moved down here. It actually moved all the way down to 37, right exactly there. When it moved, that and it stopped moving, you knew that that is the most volume that's been traded on this instrument during the day now. So all you need is a positive market delta after it, starts, after it stops moving with trend. Look at my positive market delta right here. That's a positive 28. That told me I can enter the market at the open of this bar. The fill was 37.80 to 37.90 would bend your life fill depending on your slippage. My stop loss is going to be two ticks below that swing low. On any market you trade after you enter market delta, you let market profile set the trade up. There's your stop. Your stop is going to be two ticks below the swing low on any market you trade. I told traders in the room that you want to scale when it got up to here on the first push scale 50% of your contracts. When it got to 39.20, it said scale 50%. So here's your scale point. Your first push coming into symmetry dots on my JC the chart or have your automated dome around 10 ticks, that should be your first scale. Then you can go break even plus one. If you want, break even plus one would be 37.90 to 
to 38. So your break even plus one's down here now on your subsequent runner. The overall target is going to be 4160 minus two ticks. So you go for 41 what? 4130. What did it get up to? Second target came right to it. Take another position off. Now you're off 75% of your position. Came just underneath a couple ticks, negative mark of delta. Here's your first scale. There's your second scale. Your third runner. See if you can take out the highs. Your break even plus one never hit for your subsequent position. And that's how you trade any given market with these two charts. Any given market with these two charts, that's exactly how you trade it. So you can see what we, we, we've done. If you look at the black chart, look at every major inflection point today on gold. It's been because of the solid green, the solid blue, or the solid red. The, dot, the dotted lines are more price-based, and they will stay static for a period of time, and then they'll move. But those are used for confluence. So when I came down to the control point this level, I have price profile at 3740 already. The control at the time was 37. So what do I have? I have a stacked area with the positive market delta after news right there. There was your stacked area, your little block. Now Earl, good job on getting the long. That's why Earl cranks out these ticks on a daily basis. He knows how to trade off these solid lines. These solid lines are your friends. They will tell you and dictate the order flow. If price profile overlaps them, and sometimes they'll be right exactly over top of them, you have what's called confluence. I also have longer term dots. I'll show you on crude oil. Gerald, move over to crude oil in a sec. I have crude oil. That'll give you confluence. If you look on crude, same thing happened. Look at the what's called the high. My high volume called the high. My control point is called the low. And where to go? It just went to my high value area. And here's low value getting support down here. So if I look on my control point, the solid blue, solid red resistance, solid green support. These other dotted lines just give you stacked or confluence areas. Don't get confused. Don't be confused because you have a lot of lines on the chart. Because the most important is going to be volume profile. Your volume profile is going to trump. If you guys ever played Euchre before, it's going to trump all the other indicators because that is the most volume that's been traded. So we want to let it set the trade up when they start stop moving just like it did on gold, and give a positive market delta or negative market delta on support or resistance, that's when you enter the trade. Soft loss, two ticks above the swing high, swing low. Take 50% out on the first push. You adjust your stop break even plus one. On hard trend days, I'll leave my stop two ticks below the swing low or high and try to get to the second set of symmetry dots, and then I adjust the stop. On hard trends, you try to go for the third set of symmetry dots. But as you can tell, if I move if I move gold over next to crude, what's been the area of support and resistance again? It's been what? Solid green. Right there, solid green, solid red, and the control point. All right. These will move and find value. When they stop moving, look for positive or negative market delta. Look how crude is coming off the high value area again. It's not by chance that it busted out of the control point, or it's not by chance it just reacted off the high value again. You can trade your trading plan around these solid lines. That's what we do. The trading plan is based around volume profile, and stacked areas if the price or the small dotted lines confluence conflue on top of them. Same way with this white chart. It gives you confluence. I could just take this black chart with the market delta and trade all by itself all day long. This black chart does not have to agree with this white chart. This white chart just gives me another profile. It gives me developing profile. 
it tells me that my developing profile is the same price as my volume profile right here at 40. It tells me if I break above that, then I'm going to look for a rotation down to it, look for a retest for long because that's major resistance. So this white chart is very easy. I use it for counter trend trades. If I get back inside this red or green with the line in the sand of green against trend, that's the main reason I use it, and I use it for confluence on the black chart. But they don't have to agree. This black chart, these solid lines all by themselves can be traded off of. And if you overlap on the other indicators, it just gives you stacked areas. Don't make it any more difficult than that. Let the algorithm do all the hard work for you.